Hi, kindergartners, Mrs. Wood here again, and we are going to do another second step lesson. So make sure that you are ready to learn and that you have your eyes watching, ears listening, voice quiet, body still. Can you say those with me this time? Let's do it together. Ready? Eyes watching, ears listening, voice quiet, body still. Good job. That's how I know you are focused and ready to learn. So in our lesson so far, we have been working on our skills for learning. We have talked about how we focus, focus attention. We keep our eyes on our learning, on our teacher or whatever's going on. We have talked about how we listen. We turn our ears on so we hear what's being said. And while we're doing that, we're also using our brain to think about what we're hearing and learning. Last time we talked about using self-talk. This is where we remind ourselves in our head. We tell ourselves helpful things so that we remember what we're supposed to be doing. Maybe we have to remember to focus because there's a, a distraction and we have to say, focus, focus, ignore distractions. And so today we are going to get to learn about our fourth and final skill for learning. So we are going to play our learner song. And so I want you to Put your attentoscope on, focus attention on me. We're gonna sing, we're gonna move around, do a little dancing, and as I do, the different motions for our four skills for learning, I want you to do them with me. And then I want you to think about what is our fourth and our final skill for learning that we're gonna talk about today. All right, here we go with our learner song, get ready. Focus, focus, listen, listen, use your self-talk, be assertive, focus, focus, listen, listen, use your self-talk, be assertive, focus, focus, listen, listen, use your self-talk. Be assertive, this is the way we all can learn. This is the way we all can learn. First you focus, get your attention, use eyes and ears and brain. Now you listen, make sure you listen, use eyes and ears and brain. Use your self-talk, say I can do this, and focus, focus now. Be assertive, if you don't get it, just ask for help out loud. This is the way we all can learn. This is the way we all can learn. First you focus, get your attention, use eyes and ears and brain. Now you listen, make sure you listen, use eyes and ears and brain. Use your self-talk, say I can do this, and focus, focus now. Be assertive, if you don't get it, just ask for help out loud. All right, good job everybody. So as we were singing about our skills for learning, did you notice what that last one is? Let's see, we've got focus, focus, listen, listen, use your self-talk. What comes next? Be assertive. All right, so that is what we're gonna learn about today. So first, I've got Snail that wants to come and help with our lesson. Oh no, oh dear, oh my goodness. Um, Snail, what's the matter? Oh, my class job is to water the plants. And I've been looking 
for the water can to water the plants and I can't find one. Do you know where it is? I'm sorry, Snail, I don't know where the watering can is. Um, you need to ask the teacher. Oh, I'm afraid she'll think I wasn't listening when she told me where it was the first time. Snail, it will be okay. Your teacher is here to help you when you need help. Okay, I'll ask. All right, so we are going to focus our attention on this picture here. I'm gonna tell you what's happening here. So this is Lucy. Lucy is looking for a book about dinosaurs, but she can't find it. The teacher is busy helping some other students and she doesn't know what to do to find the book. So let's think about, hmm, what could Lucy do to help herself find a book? Hmm. Let me hear your ideas. What might Lucy try? The teacher's busy right now. What could she try to find a book? Oh, could she ask another student in the library if they know where the dinosaur books are? Maybe there's another student that knows where the dinosaur books are. That is one idea. Hmm, what else? Oh. Lucy should wait patiently until the teacher isn't busy and then go ask the teacher where the dinosaur books are. Yeah, that is another idea. She can ask for help. She might try asking a friend for help. And then if that doesn't work, she could try asking her teacher for help to find a book about dinosaurs. All right. Now, when we talk about be assertive, be assertive means to ask for help in a very, very specific way. So I am going to show you three different ways to ask for help. I want you to focus on me. I want you to listen to what I say. And I want you, when I'm done, to tell me with a thumbs up if you think that was a really good, respectful way to ask for help, or show me a thumbs down if you think that was not a very good way to ask for help. Okay, so I'm gonna pretend that I'm Lucy and I need to ask for help to find the dinosaur book, okay? All right, so here's the first way. Focus attention and listen to what I say, and then give me a thumbs up and thumbs down if you think it's a good way or not a good way. All right, here we go. Here's the first way. Um, teacher, I'm, I can't find that dinosaur book, um, and I'm wondering if you could help me find a dinosaur book. Okay, think about that way. What do you think? Was that the best way I could ask for help? Or was that not the very best way I could ask for help? What do you guys think? Let me see, thumbs up, thumbs down. Hmm, I think I'm seeing a whole lot of thumbs down. Let's talk about why that was not a very good way to ask for help. So, first of all, where was I looking? Do you think I was looking at the teacher as I was talking to the teacher and asking for help? Where were my eyes looking? Yeah, I was looking down, wasn't I? I was like looking at my shoes, looking at the floor. It didn't look I was, like I was looking at the teacher, right? If I am talking to the teacher, but I am not looking at the teacher, the teacher may not even know that I'm talking to him or her. What else do you think wasn't so good? My voice? Was my voice really soft and quiet? Could you even really hear 
very clearly the words I was saying. No, I was so quiet. Somebody might not even hear me asking for help. So I wasn't looking at the teacher. My voice was so quiet. The teacher probably couldn't hear me. Um, how did it look at, like I was feeling to ask for help? What feeling did it look like when I was kind of looking down like this? Did I look kind of scared or nervous? Yeah. Should I ever be scared or nervous to ask for help? No, it is okay to ask for help. If you've tried on your own to figure something out, and maybe you've also asked a friend and you still don't have what you need or know what you need to know, then it is okay to ask for help. We shouldn't be scared to ask for help. Okay, so lots of things that were not the best ways to ask for help. Okay, so yes, let's agree. We did not like that first way. That is not the best way to ask for help. Okay, let's try another way. Again, I want you to focus your attention. Look at what I'm doing, and I want you to also listen to how I'm saying it. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? All right. Teacher, I need help right now! Yeah, I think I'm seeing a lot of thumbs down, right? Oh my goodness, so let's talk about that. Why was that way not the best way to ask for help? Think about my voice. What was my voice like? Was I, I was yelling, wasn't I? Should I be yelling across the room to ask for help? Is that respectful? No, no, I might get in trouble if that's how I ask for help, right? If I'm yelling, um, how did I look? Like, what kind of feeling did it look like I was having? Did I look kind of mad, kind of scary looking? Yeah, if that's how I'm looking at somebody, oh, they may think that I might hurt them or that I'm really upset and I'm being really mean. Is it okay to be mean or look like you're gonna hurt somebody? No, 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 no. So my voice was yelling, my face looked mean. What about the kinds of words that I used? Did I have very good manners? Do you remember what I said? I said, I need help right now. Oh, is that how we talk to our teachers or to anybody? No, remember the teacher in the library with Lucy was already busy with somebody else. And so if Lucy were just to start yelling in the middle of the library, I need help to find a book. Lucy would probably end up getting in trouble, right? That is not at all a respectful way to ask for help. So the first two ways that I asked for help will agree they are thumbs down. The first way where I looked kind of scared and nervous and shy and I was quiet, that's called being passive. Can you say that? Passive. We don't want to be passive. The second way where I looked scary and mean and I was yelling right now, that is called being aggressive. We do not want to be aggressive either. So let's try a third way. And I want you to tell me what you think about this third way. Okay, here we go. Excuse me, teacher. I'm trying to find a book about dinosaurs. Could you please help me? What do you think? Do you think it was thumbs up? Did, did you think that was a respectful way to ask for help? I think so too, let's talk about why. So I raised my hand, that's important, right? That's what we do when we're in school so that teachers know that we have a question or need help, right? How did my body look? Was it kind of nice and tall? I was looking, my eyes were looking at the teacher as I was asking for help so the teacher would know that I'm talking to him or her. My voice, it wasn't too loud, it wasn't too soft, it was just a normal voice. That's good too, yeah. And did you hear me use a few respectful words? Did you catch what those words were? I said, excuse me. I said, can you please help me? And you know what? After the teacher helped me find a dinosaur book, what would I say to the teacher then? What do you think? Thank you. Thank you for helping me. So we love that way. That is what it means to 
be assertive. It means we use respectful words. We are confident. We stand up big and tall. We have a nice face, not a scared face or a mean face. We have a nice face. Smiling always helps when we're asking for help. Use a normal voice, use respectful words, and we ask for help with what we need. We be assertive. That's what it means to be assertive, okay? So I want you to practice at home because guess what? We need to ask for help in respectful ways at home too, right? Like maybe you're having a hard time logging in and whoever there you're trying to get on and find out what your work is to see your videos, you might say, oh, I'm having a hard time logging in. Would you please help me get onto my class page so I can find out if my teacher posted any videos? Did that sound respectful? Yeah, that was a be assertive way. Okay, so practice. And you know what is kind of fun? Practice in front of the mirror. That way you can see your own face and what your face looks like in the mirror and you know what it feels like to have a calm, respectful, kind face. So then when you do it for real and you're not looking at your face because you're looking at the person that you're talking to, you know what it feels like to have a calm, respectful face. All right, boys and girls, we have now talked about all four of our skills for learning. We have to learned about how we focus, listen, use our self-talk and be assertive. Those are all of our skills for learning. So now that you know what it looks like and what it sounds like to be assertive, your job is to be the teacher now. You have a home link and so you can share with somebody, you can teach somebody about what it looks like and what it sounds like to be assertive. All right, guys, continue to use your skills for learning. Our next lesson, we are going to start getting into our unit where we talk all about feelings. So I'm super excited for that. So you guys, I hope you have the very, very best week. Work hard, do your best, and I will see you again very, very soon. Bye, everybody.